What's good, guys? If you want cheap, fast, reliable MT, make sure to hit up my sponsor, SafeNBAMT.com. Use code BUGS for 5% off at checkout and stop getting scammed by NBA 2K's pack odds. Hit them up right now. Yo, 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 what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Bugs, back. And guys, today we got some new content. We're going to go over the market as per usual, man. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to sub it up, comment down below. And also, guys, today, if you guys don't know, um, Panini Prison Basketball drops. If you guys are into trading cards, man, make sure to follow the second channel. We're going to start breaking out some cards. We got Panini Prism Basketball. If you guys are interested, head over to IG, head over to Twitter. We're going to do breaks on that. We're getting Panini Prism Basketball today, early release day. If you guys are interested, make sure to come and break with me today on IG and or YouTube on my second channel. If you guys need MT, also hit me up. I am buying and selling MT. And um, yes, we got some new mystery packs, all right? Um, new mystery packs. Um, who's in here? Well, the game actually is like freezing. The servers are going crazy. So we're going to pop a couple of these. Not so many. Just a decent amount. But we got some MT to work with. Um, you know, we'll pop like three. I can't pop more than three. I don't want to lose any MT. I already bought. I already pulled Giannis twice. I, I can't. I got Kareem and Giannis. So all that MT spent for. Um, I've been sniping though. Um, the Malik Sealys, the Lamar Odoms. They've been selling like crazy. Um, so we're going to pop like three of these, man. We get a nice shaky shaky. That would be absolutely phenomenal. But uh, lately, the pack odds are obviously been okay. They treat me well. If I pulled Giannis twice, I didn't pull any other Opals besides Giannis. So it's been pretty crazy. Um, let's just see what we can get. Um, chances are definitely, definitely against me. Um, I don't think you get much better than me pulling Giannis. But one thing I could say, I'm very close to Dame Dalla. I know he's outdated, but Dame Dalla might come home soon. So um, I'm just going to test these pack odds out for you. I'll pop one more pack after this, and that's it. And then we're going to go over the market. Oh, reveal all we get a sapphire yeah it looks like we're not even gonna get anybody from the mystery pack so yeah these packs are kind of a l not gonna lie last pack of the day and then we're gonna get right into some market and guys these packs will not affect the market if anything i'll probably make the market go up and no shaky no wow those these packs are terrible um so i guess the odds of pulling actually somebody is pretty odd, odd. so i'm gonna say one thing i think one of the featured cards in this set is gonna be nikola vucevic um yeah but i heard there was like some weird mystery there's some weird challenges going on i heard um so mystery group this is for 10 tokens there's also other stuff so all right play tto group as well all right we have some stuff we have some new stuff here we have a lot of new xp today a lot of new xp um these are all new stuff so we're talking about tons of xp right here uh, but anyways, let's go over the market, man. Let's see if Dominique's on the auction because those packs seem like a scam to me. Oh, uh, wow. There's a lot of Dominique's up here. I'm guessing one of the good snipe filters today would probably be Galaxy Opal. Does Hawks have any GOs besides Dominique? Let's see. Yeah, they just have Dominique. So if you guys want, <coughs> you go Hawks GO if you want. But let's go over to Dark Matter Filter. See what's going on with Kareem and Giannis. Um, my prediction was Kareem was going to go up in value a lot. Right now, it doesn't look like it is. Um, that looks pretty cheap to me. Yeah, I was going to say. Um, Kareem is definitely a card you want to pay attention to. He's hands down the best card in the game. Him, Giannis, and Tamak, they those are the two, the three best cards in the game, in my opinion. They're super glitchy. You definitely want to pay attention to this filter. If you end up getting a nice filter, if you end up getting a nice snipe on this filter, you're going to make so much MT. Like, literally, I'm talking about millions, thousands, hundreds of thousands, whatever. This is how you're going to make MT. You snipe out Dark Matter. Is it possible? Probably not. But if you get one, you're dubbing out. Especially if you, it, it, like, literally, if you get Kareem or if you snipe out Tracy McGrady Dark Matter, you're set. You can buy a whole squad. Uh, it's just the chances are very low. And I'm surprised they didn't make Dominique a Dark Matter. That's interesting. They made a 98 Opal. All right, though. I'll take that. It's Tuesday. They don't really drop heat. The market, guys, is super high. These packs will not affect the market. And number one, if you invested in Malik Sealy, you are welcome. Because the man went up to around almost 17K. Um, there's not even a lot up here. So if you listen to me and you waited that week, that dreadful week of the huge market crash, you are now making mt i got him for around 9 10k he's at 16 you do the math that's like 5k 6k 4k profit around that range that's a very good profit margin that's doubling your mt um that's pretty fire to me so 50 profit up that that's that's a 50 profit markdown that's awesome 
Another one if you invested, man. All my subs, if you invested, people are like, bro, you're stupid. Don't invest in these cards. If you invested in these cards, you made a lot of MT. And here's another one. Mr. Lamar Odom. The man was at 32K. He's at 50,000 MT. Not only that, I sold him with a Koei shoe for 60,000 MT. So these cards are selling, man. I'm telling you, if you invested, you made a lot of MT. Same with the Amethyst. Obviously not Jay Rich yet. Obviously not Clem Haskins yet. But the cards from the week before, I don't know, who the hell were they? Um, a couple weeks ago, there was a Michael Porter Jr. I invested a ton of him. He's at what, 25, 3,000 MT? All these Amethysts that, you, that I told you to invest in are now up big. Uh, let's check out his price. He's probably, yeah, 3,000 and 3,700. Guys, if you listen to me, you're literally making millions. Um, all the Amethysts are up. Obviously not J. Rich and Clem. If you want to invest in J. Rich and Clem, go ahead. Another one that's pretty interesting to me is Isaiah Hartstein, guys. Um, no one thought he was going to go up. The man was at 1,100 MT consistently. So 1,100 MT is now at 16. Make that 1,700. All right, not a lot of profit. That's 500 profit, guys. This car was getting put up for 900 MT. It was less than freaking buyout. So I give it another couple days. This car might be at 2,000. This car might be at 2,000. He could shoot. He could play defense. He's tall. He's lanky. Trust me. People want cards like this. The Amethyst filter is going to be one of your best filters all day. So how are you going to snipe? How are you going to make MT now with no investments? It's simple. Put your filter to this and you buy out Clem Haskins. 1,100, guys, is pretty much quick sell value. If you get screwed over... Which you're not going to. Even if they go up to 1400 you're still going to make MT. MT is MT. And not only that, since you're investing in these, it's like you don't even... Re you literally don't even remember having them. That's how you make MT. That's how you save in real life, too. You buy stuff. You have them stocked there. You don't think about it. You sell it. It's that simple. That's what you do in real life, too. It's a real-life lesson, too, in this game. And honestly, this game has helped me with real-life savings. No lie. It literally has. I'm not even kidding. I'm not capping at all. This game is just amazing. No lie. Oh, there we go. A thousand. That's probably gone. Look at that. A thousand J Rich. If I get in trouble, I'm going to quick sell it and get my money right back. It, this filter's crazy. Oh, uh, I think it's the best knife filter in the game. Cheap, pink diamond cheapest, man. I think some Vooches might pop up in here. Um, let's see if Mark Eaton went up in value yet. Mark Eaton, Mike Goldman value. He was at around eight, five, nine, and he's at, he's at, he's around the same price. He's still pretty good in investing. I would, pro oh, that's a good one. 5k. Oh my god, that was such a steal. Uh, Pink Diamond Chivas filter is definitely going off right now, man. I would definitely pay attention to this filter. Like, I just missed that Danny Granger, man, for 5k. Um, so yeah, this filter is definitely sick. Just You just gotta know who to snipe. But yo, other than that, that's really all we got for the video. Uh, I would definitely not pop those packs. They're pretty garbage. Um, but uh, yeah, hope you guys enjoyed. If you guys have any investment questions, let me know down below in the comments. Uh, we are here to invest to make some MT and yes, that's all we got for the video. Have a good one. Peace